capital amounts versus the annuity amounts. So we got four concepts that will be in place. We've got the future value of a single amount, present value of a single amount, and then we have the same for annuities. So if we had, so you can think about an annuity as basically a series of payments. So if we have a series of, of items that are going to be the same amount in the same period, like every year or every month, and we have the interest rate the same, those things fixed, then we might be able to simplify our calculation here by using an annuity type of calculation. So the future value of an annuity, for example, relates to a series of payments, compounds each individual payment into the future, then adds up the payments. So we could then think about the most common kind of scenario that pops up in most people's mind when they're thinking about the future value of an annuity would be like saving something for some goal into the future. So if I'm going to put $1,000 per year or per month or per some fixed time frame into a savings account and I'm earning a standard rate of return on it, where will I be at the end of a set amount of time? So if, if everything is standardized in that format, then we can think about putting that in place with an easier calculation, which would be the future value of an annuity. Then we have the present value of an annuity, relates also to a series of payments, discounts each payment back to the current period, then adds up the amounts. So now we're thinking about a series of payments. There's a you know thousand dollars uh, going in each time, but we're trying to we're trying to bring those future payments back to the current day. We're not trying to project out basically where we will be in the future we're trying to present value bringing all those series of payments back to the current day now note again we, you can do this kind of calculation uh ease more easily whenever you see a series of payments you're going to go okay i'm bringing it back to the current day if i'm bringing it back to the current day i'm going to use a present value of some kind present value of an annuity or we'll use or we'll use the present value of single sums if you're trying to think about where you will be in the future type of calculation then you're typically thinking future value of one, future value of annuity. And then if you think if you see a series of payments that are standardized, the payments are happening, you know, in a standard format, uh, 